Alright, what's up guys? It's uh, Kieran Rodriguez here. Um, I'm here to uh, give you guys a tutorial on how to fix your PS3 when it has a hard drive loop error. What that means is that when your PS3 boots up, there is a problem within the hard drive loop sequence when you turn on your PS3 and when it comes to like, I think 99%, it says this PS3 cannot be updated because, you know, the, you know, there's this update error 82F F310, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure some of y'all know what that means, but I'm here to get that problem taken out of the way. I've already reformatted my PS3 hard drive. It took forever to get that done. Um, but I'm going to show you that the right and ethical way to get it done for this tutorial. So, yeah, let's get right to it. The tools that you would need is um, this hard drive that you'll be taking out, but I'll be using this one as a primary example. Um, I won't use mine because um, I just don't want to format my hard drive, which I shouldn't need to. But um, but I'll actually just show it to you on like on this other one that I screwed up on that I have done. Um, you would need a flash drive, something like that. Get get yourself a flash drive, maybe like eight yeah like eight or four gigabytes and I'll show you how to set that up um you would need a tool kit hold on let me go get my tool wait where's my tool hold on give me one second all right I'm back so this tool you would need something like this get yourself a mini screwdriver pack um I, I guess like for all these like equipment, um, I'll send this or I'll put this in like the link inside the description to help you all out and um, that'll make it easier and then I'll actually send you a video on how to properly update your PS3 with like another guy's channel. Uh, there's plenty of other YouTubers that do this but um, what you're going to need to do, you need to use this screwdriver here to unscrew this bad boy right over here um see this one it's like that blue little screw right over there to get the actual hard drive out so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to unscrew this yep yeah uh the like these other four things right over here you know like the uh um outer screws or Basically, this is like the outer layer component of the PS3. Um, you don't need to do all that. All you need to do is just, just get this bad boy out, this this uh, blue screw, or whatever color screw it's planted into, and then, boom, you got that out. Um, always use a cup. That's what I usually do to take out anything, because sometimes when you're taking out a lot of stuff, you're always having to lose a good amount of parts, so... See this thing right over here? This is your uh, little hard drive enclosure cage. That's what I usually call it if I'm ever taking out anything. But um, this is where you have your PS3 hard drive. And I could show you right now how to unscrew this. It's really not that difficult. Um, you use the same tool. You might need something smaller depending on which one or what type of brand or what sizes that y'all got. But what you do, hold on. Um, might need to hold this a certain way. But basically, what you do is um, well, let me let me try. Yeah, let me try uh, putting it down, and I could show you right over here. So basically, what you do right here, you unscrew these things right here, and then once you unscrew it, you take it off, you put it into this like this hard drive that you take out. You're gonna put it into this hard drive enclosure. I'll also put a link for this too. I'm not going to take this out because I already did my uh, hard drive format for this so I'm going to put this back up in here but I'm just giving you like a rundown of what needs to be done to get that done. So now that that's done um, you know like I guess for the time being I'm just going to you know screw this bad boy back in to make sure that it's already done. Alright, so I'm going to screw this back in and I'm going to pause it and I'm going to show you how to, uh, I guess like, 
reformat your hard drive right on the demo hard drive that I have right now. So I'll see y'all soon and just stay tuned. Alright. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick little tutorial of how to properly put this thing in. What you do right over here is that you just put it like this and then you try to shimmy it down. Hold on. Yeah, like this. You shimmy it down and then boom. When you hear that click, that means that it's in. Alright, so I'm going to plug this in inside the computer and um, I'll just make it easier for y'all to go see what happens. But, um, um, yeah, like, um, I'm going to probably pause this, try to charge up like my phone for a bit, and then I'm going to come back in a little while to uh, teach you the final steps of what needs to be done. So, just stay tuned, and I will get back to you very, very soon. Alright, what's up guys? I'm back again. Um, I'm going to show you the second part of what to get done here. Uh, give me one second. Um, what you basically do, you take your hard drive enclosure that you have over here, and you see this USB. Um, you plug it into your computer. I'm going to plug it right in right now. Alright, there you go. I got it right here. So, what you do after that, before we even get down to the formatting, um, I need to go show you how to make your update uh, folders for um, your PS3 update because what you do need to do, which I'll also put in the link in, inside the, the uh, description, you need to go to this website here. It's called uh, PlayStation.com. Well, I'll, I'll just put it inside the description. I need to put that in anyway. But basically, what you do is um, get everything for the ps3 update file which is just like a little file it's really nothing but um what you do with this file is that you download it and you put it in your ps3 update folder of your usb and then um what you do after that is uh basically proceed on with uh i guess like you know with the format right and once that is complete, um, you plug in your PS, or you plug in your USB to um, get everything done for the PS3 to finish updating. Basically, I'll just kind of show you like the rundown of what to do when you get this file. So just download it right here. Um, it's going to prompt you. See this? This is PS3 update. What you do for the update is that you go here. This is my USB. This is your PS3 folder, which you have to make two folders. So you make one for PS3, and then when you open it up, you make another folder called Update. It has to be all capitalized. Make sure that you do that, and then you save it right here. I don't really need to do it, but I just, I guess for, like, for the video, yeah, I'll just save it within uh, the video, or I'll save it to my USB just for the sake of what the video, but... Once you complete that, you need to go to your device manager in your control panel to um, get the storage. Um, I guess like, I don't know, like I basically call it like the volume storage for your hard drive. Uh, this is kind of weird because depending on what computer you have, like I'm on Windows. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure for Apple, there's a certain, you know, panel for it. But basically what you do is... um. You know, I usually go to hardware and sound, and then we go to maybe device manager. I'm not too sure if that's not the right place to go, but um, actually, hold on, let me uh, look it up. I'll be right back. Hey, what's up, guys? I managed to find out what the problem, but basically, what you do after this is um, you go right here to your uh, this PC out of your computer. If y'all could see it, hold on, let me um, increase the volume a bit, or um, light brightness, right? Oh, man, this is not good, good lighting. Yeah, if y'all could see it, um, you have to go to this PC out of your computer. If y'all could see it, damn, man. Yeah, right there, if you could see it, um, you go to this PC. 
and then after that you hit on manage so you right click your PC you click manage so you're in computer management and then once you're in computer management all right there we go there we go that that's way better all right so yeah because I don't know why my phone does that but if it, like if y'all can't see that or, or if y'all couldn't see that basically what you do again you right click your PC hit manage and then you see this button right over here right here you click on disk management and then it's gonna load up an X amount of disk for your computer all right so this part right over here what you do is um hold on give me one second all right I'm back so basically, you uh, see this oh, thing. This is a video oh my god! On how to, um... Damn, man. All right. So basically, what I had to do, um, I just had to kind of take a look at like what I needed to do properly to uh, make sure that I'm not, you know, screwing up for you guys. But basically, what you do right here, if this pops up, I usually click OK, but um, I think um, this is GPT, so this is GUI I yeah GUI D partition table. Yeah, click OK. And then you see this right here that says unallocated. This is your broken PS3 hard drive. So with this broken PS3 hard drive, that's gonna come up as unallocated. So what you do is that you right click, you click new simple volume. All right, so it's gonna bring you through a, a, um, a uh, volume wizard. What you do is that you just click next, you know, that's just gonna format by itself. Um, you set it to a certain letter um, I usually go with just a simple letter, but for argument's sake, let's just go for A. Um, that's going to be your letter path to reformat the hard drive. You click next, all right? And see this right over here? Don't have this checked off. If you do that, that's going to screw up your PS3 hard drive. And once that is completed, it's not going to finish removing all the bad sectors of your hard drive. So, usually what I like to do, I just keep everything like the same, and then I kind of give it a new hard drive um, name once everything's done. But what you do after here, you just click next, and then when you click finish, that's going to format everything. And you'll probably be better off doing that, because if you do a quick format, that's going to screw up your PS3, and, and you're going to have to go through all that mess again. So what you do is click finish, and yeah, it should be processing for me, but um, for those of you that are using, um, I guess like, whatchamacallit, um, if you're using an Apple or Mac, I'm pretty sure you just have to do the same thing. Just, um, I could probably find like a link for those of you that are trying to use Mac, but this is for all the Windows people, if you guys know you know that um basically you know what the concepts of, of how to use a windows computer to format this is what you have to do so this is your um you know this is like your drive that says here formatting right up here if you could see it formatting so um this is what you have to do in order to uh you know fix up your hard drive and then after that um i guess what i could do i could just send yeah i could actually um send you a link on how to update your PS3 via um, USB because this thing right here this is your USB with the update what you do is that when you put yeah when you put the update in what you have to do first is put the flash drive in once you put everything in like your hard drive and all that before it boots up put this in here what the PS3 will do is that it's going to recognize that there is a update. Is this like light or something? Like I want to make sure that this has like enough light. Yeah, give me like one second. I'm I'm very sorry because I hate it when I don't have like enough brightness. Or all right, so yeah, this thing right here has your update file, and um, I guess what I'll do just for like, the sake of what the video, um. I don't know because <laughs> I really don't want to do it through like my PS3 because you know that's gonna take forever but what you do technically is that you put this USB in 
And I'm pretty sure for those of you that play PS3, like you guys will get with the process pretty soon. But what your PS3 is going to do is that once you put this in, you have your hard drive and everything in inside, back inside, let the PS3, you put this bad boy in, you boot it up, it's going to give you a, a couple prompts of, you know, is this your hard drive? You know, is this like the correct update? And then once that's complete, you just hit next and just keep keep uh, continuing with more prompts. And um, yeah, that should be it. I mean, I like again, I'll probably post a video to better explain what I'm talking about. But now that this is complete on my end, what you just have to do for the time being, you have to just wait for your format to be complete. And then um, that should be it as far as I know. And um, you guys should definitely be able to have everything done. And um, yeah, that should be it. Um, other than that, uh, please um, give a like, share, comment. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Um, I'm going to put this on my Gamers R Us page. So for any followers, please let me know. And I could try to help you out because I understand like some people who make videos don't fully explain things properly so if you need help with what you need done then go for it um ask questions i am more than happy to to help you out and um i'll be sure to give you as much um explanation as possible and um i'll try to be a be of good be be of good assistance to you all right so thank you guys for watching Happy gaming, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.